How can David Terrell capture the spotlight again like he used to? I mean, the real, to be honest with you, is uh, the perception of whatever, you know, I, I don't really know what the perception, I don't stand in front of a whole lot of GMs. The whole thing for them is like, okay, the first question they said, you know, what happened in Chicago? You know, what happened in Chicago? What happened in Chicago? Well, I mean, everybody can see what happened in Chicago. I mean, what happened in Chicago still happened in Chicago. You know what I mean? I, I'm never going to downplay. I had a great time here in Chicago. Uh, the one thing that I really do wish that I could take back is maybe, like, the antics on the field maybe hurt me more than made it a little better. And I wasn't listening to anybody, and I wasn't caring what anybody said because that was my way of showing people that I could play and I wanted to play more. So if I had, like, when, I, when me and Grover talked about it, Grover was like, you shouldn't have did it. You should have just played their, to their rules and kept working hard. And, you know, no matter what they did, your play will outshine you. And, I mean, off the field incidents is, is off the field incidents. Like I said, you said to me, you said, dog, you never got stopped drinking and driving. You never was caught smoking anything. You never hit a person. You never beat anybody up. You know, I just got tickets. And I was, you know, a little reckless. I had a Hummer, H1, driving in the lake. Why not? It doesn't you know? make you a bad guy. <laughs> exactly. I but pulled over in my, in my Yugo. But it's like when you're in the limelight, there's certain things that you got to do. So it's like he said, you had the, you had it, you know what I mean? You had the, the opportunity to just make your homeboys drive, you know, and let them drive and let them show for you. You're too tired. You see what I'm saying? So it's different methods and ways that you could prevent things. And maybe uh, when you're young, you don't really see them because you, you're oblivious to it, because you're elite, you think you're elite. So... Anytime you need, I mean, you need a person in your corner that can tell you no and it can tell you yes at the same time. And Grover is one of the honest people because think about it, if I went out last night, you know what I mean, which I did want to go out last night, but I had to come in here at 8 o'clock, then what I'm, I'm going to throw up. And I don't want to do that, you know what I mean? Because when I first walked in here, the first time I walked in here, he made me throw up. So it was like, damn, I know last night I ain't going out. You know what I mean? I'm going to sit down, and sometimes that's good to just sit down and watch TV.